What's going on you guys? It's your girl Bianca Shuri. I'm back at it again with another video. Literally, I'm trying to get some content out for y'all. So, oh by the way, just a disclaimer. I've said this in my other videos as well, but just so you know. First of all, number one, I am trying to practice looking into the camera and not into the actual like screen. So bear with me with that. That's number one. And number two, I do have notes that I reference and I like to write notes for my videos just to like reference and I reference them a lot because usually before I post um, a video, my whole process is I write down or I get some, I get something that comes and like just falls into my heart to talk about and I just write, 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 write no, notes upon notes. And so I split those notes up into different videos. So that is what I do. So today we're going to be talking about the way God comes in and moves in our lives. The way God moved in my life and the way he can move in your life. The way he can unblock blockages. The way he comes and cleans out what should not be there in your life and brings in or fills you up with what should be there so that you can move forward in your life and have a much more positive outlook on life and a much more positive life period. Probably, you know, every day, I believe we get filled up with a bunch of junk, okay? Negative stuff throughout the day. Everybody goes through things in life that can tend to fill you up, you know, with a junk and it's difficult being human just living you know what I mean and going through life every day with different issues and different problems and different temptations and different everything you know what I mean especially as a young person it's hard you know even a young adult you know dealing with problems there you know being single wanting to get married and wanting to have kids you know searching and dating and doing all these types of things um, meanwhile you're not really ready for that. Meanwhile, God doesn't want that for you yet and you're not ready for that yet, but you don't have a chance to really um, take that in because of the fact that you're not mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you know, where you're supposed to be. That can cause big blockages. Things that are happening stem from everything comes from something. So I believe that if you are living in a situation and you're not out of that situation and it's a negative situation I'm talking about and you're wondering why nothing is moving in your life what's blocking me a lot of a lot of times I believe also that Christians you know they believe that even like new Christians Christians or people who are thinking about becoming Christian and are on the way or on the journey towards that a lot of times they feel like um, God will just come in and do all the work which is somewhat true and somewhat no. God's gift to us was the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, God is able to work in our lives. God sent Jesus down. In order for us to be able to get the Holy Spirit or receive him, God had to figure out a way that he could make us not be like him, but want to be more like him and want to get a relationship with him. So God needs to find a way to, in order to do that. Um, so God needed to come down in the flesh, commune with us, human beings to be able to experience what it's like to be able to know what it is that he needs to work on within us so that we can fulfill and inherit what he wants for us because without him you cannot do that you're probably like well what do you mean i can't do that i can you know do whatever i want to do let me just say something to you God is the creator of everything. He is your creator. Whether you want to believe it or not, God created you. You are God's creation. You are God's word spoken into flesh. And God's word does not return to him void. Jesus was the word turned flesh. Jesus had a purpose to live out on this earth. That purpose was fulfilled. And because that purpose was fulfilled, he did not return to God void. And it didn't return to him void. That means empty. That means nothingness. That means he put into God, he dedicated his life to living out God's purpose. And all that means is having a relationship with him so you can live and walk in the light. God's purpose is not to, for you to live in darkness. It's not for you to live in pain and sorrow and negativity. God's purpose for you is for you to live and walk in his light. God's purpose for you is for you to live 
such an amazing and awesome life and if at some points in that life that you live it isn't amazing then he is there right to encourage you and tell you listen i don't give you something that you can't handle i will never do that to you i would never do that to you if you are going through anything god turns it around even if the devil is trying to make it look like the most negative situation of life you are god's child so guess what it can't if you allow god to put his hands in it it will never turn out negative god loves you too much he made you so if God made you, why would God make you just to play games? Why would God go through all the work that he did put into creating a better life for us? That's what he did. And so what we need to understand is that many of the problems we have in our lives stem from something deeper. You know, God is a deep God. God is not surface. That is why God looks to your heart. God doesn't look on the outside appearance. That's why he doesn't judge you on your outward. It's what is inside your heart. What is happening in there? Because through your heart flow the issues of life. Proverbs 4.23 Through your heart flow the issues of life. And those issues that you have, those inner issues, can bleed out into your mental, emotional, and spiritual self. That is when the devil can be able to come in and cause things to seem 10 times worse than what they really are. So not keeping your mind on God and not focusing on Him fully, you know, and when I say focus on God fully, all I mean is God wants you to see Him as your friend, your father. You came from Him. He wants you to see Him as somebody that you can go and talk to because He understands everything that you're going through right now. He gets it. He understands he came down here just so that he can be able to understand what you're going through he came down here just so that you can be able to get a relationship with him so he can build a relationship so he can have a relationship with you so you can always know that there is always somebody you can go to even if your friends are not around he is the one that you can go to. What better person to go to than somebody who knew you before you knew you. He knew you before you knew yourself, you know? So really, he knew everything you were going to do before he formed you and spoke you into existence and spoke you into your mother's belly, you know, and, and formed you in there. You know, he knew everything that was going to happen because he knows what the world is. He knows what the sin of the world causes. He knows it already. And so before he, and that is why he sends angels. Every person in this world has an angel with them. You know what I mean? Every person in this world is God looks after and protects and watches closely. And that is why you have stories of people that die. I mean, I believe them. Whether you want to believe them or not, I believe them. People that die, you know people that convert to living a life of faith. I don't even want to say convert to Christianity, but I want to say they convert to living a life of faith in, in Christ and in God. They, they convert to a life of living happily. They convert because they die and God will come and God will speak to them through that situation. God, he allows that situation to be used as a tool in order to bring you to him. We are human beings. We live in this world. You know how hard it is for God to get our attention? Because everything in this world is so loud. Sin is loud. And God and Jesus is a still small voice. God can be loud, sure. He can, and when I'm about to say how he can be loud, but he's a still small voice. So when God speaks, People think, oh, well, you know, can you physically hear God? Yes, some people, they can physically hear God speaking to you. You can actually hear God, or sometimes God will speak to you through different forms. God speaks to me through when I'm reading my Bible. He speaks to me through when I'm watching sermons on, on my, you know, computer. He will speak to me through a song. God can speak to you through anything. He's God, you know. He can speak to you however he wants to speak to you. He can speak to you through an accident. He can speak to you through a storm that you might be going through in your life. He'll allow the storm to bring up and bring out into full effect and full form everything. He will show you yourself, plain as day. For me, 
when he did that for me, he allowed me to see what was broken on the inside of me because I was broken. I was broken, but God fixed me. He can fix you. I was a broken person. So many people in this world are so broken and sin is so loud. Sin is everywhere and it's so loud. You have people going and shooting up places where people should be able to go and have fun with their families and be in peace. You have people going and shooting those places up because the devil doesn't want happiness. He wants pain and sorrow. You have people going to clubs and getting shot up or killed or murdered. You have murder going on in this world. Everything is so loud. Everything that's going on in this world is so loud. So, and it's being done on purpose. The devil's doing it on purpose. How can God, with his still small voice, the only way he can speak to you is through what you're familiar with sometimes. Sometimes he'll speak through to you through what you're familiar with. Sometimes something will happen to you and you're doing something that you always do that you maybe shouldn't be doing or speaking to somebody you shouldn't be speaking to and he'll use that whole entire thing. He'll use that whole entire situation to get you to really say hello, hello, I'm God, I'm here, you know, let me help you with that can you allow me to help you with that you don't have to go through that alone you don't have to go through that by yourself you don't have to you can allow me to come let me come let me comfort you while you're going through it and let me use that situation to make you better and to make you a better person let me use that situation instead of you allowing the devil to use that situation to tear you down to make you feel like you want to commit suicide to make you feel like there's no reason to live life let me come in to your life and allow you to see I can use that situation to bring you into a better life I can use that situation and I can use you because you might think that you are nothing you might think that whatever hardships you're going through whatever might be causing you to feel like you have to take your life don't do that don't take your life the, listen let me tell you what suicide is let me tell you what the devil uses suicide as a tool he uses that and he uses his demons they come and latch onto you with their claws they latch onto you they latch onto your soul because your soul is where the emotions come from you're not you 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 are more than likely you know not in your spirit because your spirit is what is connected to God your spirit is connected to God you understand your spirit is what allows God to work because your spirit and the Holy Spirit become as one once you allow God in your life but if you don't have God in your life or if you do have God in your life but you know you kind of somehow are falling to the wayside with it you know what I mean or leaving doors open for the devil to allow himself to creep himself in there the devil uses the devil can use that a lot of people are committing suicide and it's very very upsetting I don't even want to say it's sad it is sad it is extremely sad and it's more upsetting to me because the devil is using the suicide using suicide because when you're committing suicide you're murdering your own self you are murdering yourself whether it's spiritual suicide or suicide physically well spirit suicide is spiritual and physical you're killing yourself you're taking your life away like I said God you have a purpose on this earth every person on planet earth has a purpose and the devil does not want you to come into your purpose and that is why wow that is why you might feel like you don't have a purpose think about that for a second you might feel like you have no purpose on this earth you might feel like you, there's no reason for you to be alive right now but let me just tell you something there is and that's why you feel that way because guess what the devil wants you to feel like you don't have a purpose. The devil wants you to feel like you are a nothing. Like there's no reason for you to be alive. He wants you to feel like, he wants everything to come, everything negative to fly at you so that you feel like there's no reason for you to be alive. So you might as well just take your life. Well, it's really, and it's really Satan taking your life away from God. Satan is taking you away from God and, and you're allowing Satan to take you away from God. You're allowing him to take you away from God. You're allowing the devil to come into your life. And let me just tell you something, the devil does not like you. So guess what? The thoughts you're having are not from God. Don't blame God 
for the negative thoughts. Negative thoughts don't come from him. They do not. He is life. Life comes from him. Love comes from him. Positivity comes from him. Not negativity. Love. The best love in the world that you can't even imagine. So don't ever think that when you're sitting there and you are having thoughts of suicide or you're having thoughts that you are nothing, you are something and you do have a purpose on this earth and you do have a reason to be here, don't let the, uh, the devil let you think otherwise. Don't let him think that you don't have a purpose because I, I'm so irritated because he did it to me. For now, he is the prince and power of the air which means he rules down here for now. So that means he can use anything and anyone to make you feel like you are nothing. Please don't feel that way. Please, please, and I'm, I'm sorry, I don't wanna cry. Please don't feel that way. It's not the truth, it's a lie. The devil is a liar. Don't take your life away from God. Don't take yourself away from him because he loves you too much. And every time somebody, you know, takes their life, God cries, he does. You think he doesn't cry, he cries. They cry. Just like every time a soul gets saved, they rejoice and they're happy in heaven. Every time someone kills themselves, it is a lost soul. Heaven cries. You know why? Because just like when somebody commits suicide or somebody is hurting themselves in any way, it doesn't matter what way, and it hurts your family, it hurts your parents, the people that birthed you, the people that had a hand in creating you, it hurts. You think it doesn't hurt God? You think God doesn't care? Of course he cares. I'm here to tell you and I'm here to fight for him. I'm here. I'm here to fight for God. I'm here to fight to let people know that the devil is the liar and now especially with everything that is happening in this world with everything that is happening in this world he is going to work 10 times harder to get you on his side or to get you to not even have a second thought about knowing who god really is i'm going to fight for that just so you can know because you need to know how much god loves you you need to know god does not want anything bad for you. I didn't mean to talk about this today. For some reason, I guess, I completely swayed off of, but not really swayed off of why I decided to record, but this just kind of came out. If you look at the news, I mean, how can you not think that there's not evil? Everybody has their opinion and their own free will to make whatever decision you want to make. You can think whatever you want to think, but let me just tell you something. All these bad things that are happening, they're not from God. They're not from God. They didn't come from him, they came from the devil. From the beginning of time, when Adam and Eve sinned, okay, the devil slithered his little way in, slithered his way in, crept in, and brought sin into the world. Crept in and took our, our identities from us, who we are really supposed to be, and what we are really supposed to be living, he took that away. He took that away from you, he took that away from me. And so then God had to put into motion a plan in order to give us a way to be able to live in that fullness, to be able to live in the way we're supposed to live, God had to create a way, a plan. The Bible is that plan. In many instances in the Bible, there are foreshadowings of what God's plan for the world is, of who Jesus is going to be to us all throughout the Bible. I'll make a video on that just to show you many places in the Bible where there is a foreshadowings are foreshadowings of who Jesus Christ was to be for us. The Bible is God's plan. Was God's plan is, no, not was, is. I wrote something down before I end this video, okay? Before I end this video, I wrote something down, okay, that that fell into my heart. And here is what I said. God is the same, always, never changing what he did, okay? He is still doing what he did. He is still doing, okay? He is forever still doing. He's not, he had, he had, he is the same today. He was the same yesterday, today, and he's still gonna be the same forever, okay? He is still doing, there is no past tense for God. Therefore, there should be no past tense for you. Consistency is key. There is no past tense for God. God is always working. We, because we are a work in progress, because we are a work in progress and every day you learn something different, every day we are a work in progress. 
but guess what that work in progress that we are supposed to be work in progress keyword progress if you're not making any progress in your life there is a reason why and the reason might not stem from anything on the surface the reason might be something deeper that is what it is God is a God is present tense and future I don't believe that God is he I don't believe God is past tense because God doesn't work on time because there is no time with God he's in he's eternal you know what I mean and that is why we are always continuously he said we should renew our mind every day God is continual he is just continual eternal he works and works and works and works the devil is eternal. The devil works and works and works every day. Every day he's trying to come at you. Every day he tries to bring negative things towards you. Every day he will try to come at you with something. But guess what? Guess who's there? Someone is there. Jesus is there. The Holy Spirit, if you allow him to come into your life, guess what? When you do that, the devil won't have as much of a chance to phase you. He won't be able to phase you. Seriously, you think that if you allow Jesus to come into your life, you think Jesus is going to allow Satan to faith you no anything the devil brings at you guess what God's gonna do turn it around okay and it's gonna work out for yo good okay not the devil which means guess what a life with God you'll never lose you will never lose eat listen even when you feel like you're losing you're still not losing because guess what in those situations where you feel like you're losing you're not losing because of the fact that God is working in you and on you through that situation because he's in your life you allowed him to come God is not going to come if you don't allow him to if you are consistently distracting yourself or letting yourself get distracted by everything around you and even let yourself get distracted by the situation you're in then guess what what's gonna happen the devil can uh, then the devil can just take over everything don't allow Allow him to take over everything. Don't allow the devil to take over your life. Don't. Don't do it. I'm asking you. I'm begging you. Please don't. So many people allow the devil to use their life and allow him to come into their life and ruin their lives and try to sabotage your life. That is what his job is. That is what he has a mandate. He said, oh, he said, okay, God, you created men. All right. You created men. You want to create them. You want to love them more than you love me. You, you keep thinking that they're better than me, that they're better than me. You are better than him. Do you know? who created you do you know who your father is do you know who God is who Jesus is I'm here to tell you who he is I'm here to let you know who God is what God did and that with God you can't fail you think you can fail with Jesus in your life you can't nothing can harm you when you have God with you nothing can touch you it doesn't matter how hard the devil tries to bother you and you will have days when that happens we all do you know I do so don't think that if you do allow God to come into your life or anything like that don't think that you won't get problems and issues and, and stuff like that yeah you will because the reality of it is until we get to heaven until you until we get to be with God you will always have to be on your I don't want to say you always have to be on your toes but you will always have to be uh, aware of who you are and whose you are and where you are and where you are supposed to be where you are destined to be or meant to be because if you don't come into that realization then that's when you're gonna have a problem and that's why so many people so many of us have a problem because we don't know what your worth is you don't know who you are who you belong to that is what I have to say and what I have to speak on I hope you guys enjoyed this video I wasn't expecting to talk about any of this but I it just came and flowed I was actually supposed to talk about something else but I'll make that video after this one then I just really want people to, to know who God is I just really want people to know that you don't have to live your life in misery you don't have to live your life in pain you know constant pain I should say you don't have to live in constant pain and misery misery and hurt because there's a God that made you that loves you that wants nothing more than the best for you he wants nothing more than to just hold you he wants nothing more than to just embrace you and let me tell you something God's embrace I felt it I felt his embrace before and it's not like a feeling that you can even explain whether you want to believe it or not I felt God's love and God's love is not like any love I've ever in my whole entire life felt that's my testimony you know praying and praying and feeling that love I mean literally physically like feeling somebody in the room with you and feeling just peace and love that I've never felt that no human being could ever give you a love that is so pure that 
no human being can human beings always judge human beings always look on what's out on the outside and always judge god does not judge you god no and he does it because he knows everything about you already and he knows what you go through and he doesn't judge you and so when he when he allows you to feel his love and peace that's it for this video you guys I hope, like I'll always say for my videos, I hope you got something from this. God bless you. And I pray that God will touch your life through this. And I pray that God will help you if you're in any situation. I pray right now that in his name you will be covered and that he will come into your life. And if it's not through this video, then I pray that he will speak to you through whatever form that he needs to speak to you through to get to, to really get through to you. I hope that I am maybe that gateway that you needed. I hope that I am maybe that gateway that you needed in order to understand who God is a lot better. I love you guys so much. I hope you, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. I will definitely see y'all in the next one. And good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or good night from wherever you are watching this video. Bye.